917, 918. Spencer Aragetti and the Astros at minus 140. My dude, the man, the myth, the legend, the immortal Hogan Harris and the A's at plus 125. Total of eight and a half flat across the board at minus 110. So, Kenny, I'm going back to the A's double result here at two to one. Now, now look, Hogan Harris has been good to me. Astros lost yesterday to the Mariners or in a virtual tie for the division. This Eric Getty, though, I looked at Hogan Harris. He's not giving up a ton of hits, but he's walking a ton of guys. That's the problem. He just puts too many free passes. But so does Spencer Eric Getty. And then you got Alvarez hitting for the cycle yesterday. So I think he cools off a bit today. You rarely see these guys do that kind of shit two days in a row. I think Hogan Harris here, he hasn't pitched since the Friday before the All-Star break. He's had 10 days off. I'm sure the pitching coach has been working with him on his location. That just had that stinky feeling here. I do not like Spencer Aragetti, I think, is one of the worst pitchers in baseball. He's another guy who gives up a lot of free passes. I'm going to take the A's double result here at 2-1, to one, and I'm going to parlay it with the Reds double result, little half unit, and that's at plus 860. Am I crazy today doing this Hogan Harris thing? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so at all. It's, uh, it's been a good week for Hogan's. Again, I don't know if any of you guys saw the, the, uh, the, the Hulk Hogan speech at the RNC, but like it, it's pretty nuts in, in 2024. You've got the opening of an RNC of, of like a political speech with listen here, brother. I mean, it was yeah. God, it was so it was so awesome. you had, you had the, the greatest WWF champion of all time. And then you had the owner of the ultimate fighting championship introduced. That's that's where we're at in the world. Today, that's where, that's where we're at. Baby. The, 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 dude, yeah. the, the whole the whole store can still bring it. You can still bring it. Um. I'm I'm with you on the A's. Uh, they're actually like kind of kind of hot right now, and one of the reasons that they're hot, I gotta I really do I gotta give Corbett credit here. Um, like two and a half months ago, when I was going through my kick, where I just kept betting A's player props. Like Corby out of his ass just said, you know, there's a guy on the A's I really like. He's got a really nice swing. You know, it hasn't hasn't shown up yet, but he's I, I like what I'm seeing there. And it was Lawrence Butler. Corby, like, just out of, out of the blue, he'd only played in a couple of games. He goes, I like Butler on the A's. I, I think he's got a nice swing. And uh, in the last month, got yeah, month stretch, last two weeks, he has been arguably the best hitter in baseball, maybe behind Bobby Witt. His last four games, Lawrence Butler is 10 for 17, two doubles, a triple, and three home runs. Now, those three home runs all came in the same game against my Phillies. But the dude is just <laughs> in fuego right now, uh, mashes righties. They've moved him to the leadoff spot. Uh, and I think it's a it's a lit- like an actual dream matchup he gets with fastball heavy Spencer Aragetti. So I took Lawrence Butler over one and a half total bases. That's plus one twenty five on BetUS. That's the best number in the market by far. It's closer to even money elsewhere. So BetUS as usual bringing the heat with the good prices. I'm I'm sticking with the hot bat. Lawrence Butler over one and a half total bases. I love that. And hey, just get me to the eighth inning, baby. Get me to the eighth inning. Get me Mason Miller. And I got this thing locked up. What do you think, Corby? Am I going too far here? Put go going these two underdogs. Am I going too far taking another A's double result here? Uh it's interesting. I think that the Astros <laughs> do have they they have some pieces missing. Um when is yeah. Kyle Tucker getting back? Does uh, is that a has there been any note? I mean, the injury didn't look awful. And I was surprised to see the I I haven't seen any videos of even him like Going in batting sessions. I don't know anything about the, it. The, the, right. just, I just Googled it. Like, Houston, this is yesterday. Houston Astros skipper gives somewhat concerning injury update on Kyle Tucker. So I'm reading more, that's, but that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that's doesn't not fun. Um, it didn't look like a bad injury, so I'm surprised. I think Kyle Tucker, I mean, obviously, like, we, we talked about the Mariners looking kind of weak in the Astros, a good future to buy. The Astros are now in first. So that was true. Uh, but I do think if they want to make that inevitable push to like the actual firsts, uh, they need Kyle Tucker. So it'll be interesting. Uh, a, a, f- a few housekeeping things. I wasn't here on the show. And if I was, I would have live bet for as many units as BetUS would allow me. Kyle got a four to one double result the other day. That should never be a thing. Listen, if you're mm-hmm. on the show watching, if you ever see a double result four to one, don't even question it. Don't think about it. Instantly go bet it. There should never be a team in baseball that is four to one dog on basically anything, especially like it wasn't even that crazy of a matchup. So, Amazing. Well, the, the it was second, Hogan Harris against Ranger Suarez. But Ranger <laughs> I mean, Suarez it really was, kind of. Has Definitely but, not 4-1. Uh, to one. I, I think it should have been 2.5-1. Yeah. to one. Great price. I would have bet it as well. Uh, awesome. And you got your Hogan Harris down. The other thing. Hogan Harris walked up, six guys in that game. In three innings, he walked six guys. And we somehow got that. it. So there is yep. that. There is that. Listen. You know. Also. Kenny brings up Lawrence Butler. I, I love Lawrence Butler. I think he's a great baseball player. Also, I don't think that his sprint speed is uh, is calculated correctly because he runs really weird. 
a whole different story. And you could go on a deep dive with StatCast there. I talked about Lawrence Butler, and I got trolled on like six straight videos. If you go to the comment sections of whenever I talked about that on BetUS, somebody was like, you still don't think Lawrence Butler's good? I do. Um, I do, and I think that I'm right now. So Lawrence Butler, great. I am glad he's in the leadoff spot now. The only issue is he sees the ball really well. I think he might get some walks, uh, and that would obviously suck for Kenny. Uh, but I do think it's a really good price. So no no bet. Um, I do like the Lawrence Butler play, though. Yeah, we can't have any more of the not getting the total base for the walks. It might make Kenny's – it might, like, take the frost right out of the tips. You know what I mean? It literally might just pop them all the same color uh, if it happens. But for purposes of the show, so we got the live play here. We got Lawrence Butler over one and a half total bases at plus 125 for Kenny. I've got the A's double result at plus 200. And then I'm also going to do the a half a unit on the A's double result and the Reds double result parlayed together, and that's at plus 860. So let's hope something like that – 